Now we are drifting out of a calm meditative state. We're about to dance. So let's cross the distance. Start to move your body gently at first, but then more energetically as you wake yourself up. Go ahead, give a stretch. <clears throat> Run a tight little lap if you'd like, some jacks. Whatever you do in the morning, to wake yourself up. We're getting ready to move. As you wake yourself up, stay in contact with all of your organs of emotional expression. Move, but don't lose your lungs. Move, but stay with your heart. Move, but check in with your gut. We are going to dance with our whole bodies. We are going to dance with our whole emotions. <sighs> mm. One at a time, we're going to dance with our fear. We're going to dance with our anger. And we're going to dance in our sadness. This may be unfamiliar with you. I mean, in this culture, we tend just to dance with our happiness. Or when we're drunk. <sighs> but no, every emotion has a dance. Anger has a dance. <sighs> Fear has a dance. Sadness has its own dance. Just as every one of these emotions has its own face 
and voice. It has its own dance. We're going to give these feelings full inner and outer expression in dance. We're going to get them out of our bodies so we can become pure vessels of gratitude. So come to a place of stillness now. Mm. Just stand and connect with your body again. First, we're going to dance with our fear. When you asked yourself during our meditation how you felt, you may have noticed embodied fear. Suppressed fear, maybe you didn't know that you were managing. Maybe you didn't notice fear. It's there. It's part of the human condition for it to be there. Hmm. In order to help bring it out, bring it to your attention, I'm going to say a list of lightly triggering words along the fear spectrum. As I read them, one at a time, notice how your body reacts. We're going to look for a word that brings up an event that has a strong body reaction. That will be the work we do. Here are some triggering words. Anxiety. How do you react? Phobia, stage fright, social anxiety, contagion, imposter syndrome, panic, how do you react, dread, how do you react. Fear. Come again into a place of stillness. Which of these words had the strongest reaction in your body? Return to the event that's calling up this emotional reaction. Revisit the episode. Remember how you felt fear how you suppressed it, how you managed it. It may have been good to suppress this feeling, but now it's latent in your body. I'm going to play a track, and as I play it, let your body give full expressive expression of the fear that you felt. Whenever you need, close your eyes and revisit the moment you felt fear. This time, instead of saying that fear is wrong, say that fear is right. Let it come out.
authentic feeling is the basis of authentic connection. To a place of stillness. Be gentle with yourself. Oh. You'll still feel the emotion ringing in your body, which is why on the count of three, we will give a fearful cry. We will scream and we will get out the rest of that feeling we did not dance off. On three. One, two, three. Narcotic wave in your body. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Enjoy the feeling. It is your reward. <sighs> you now have gotten some of that suppressed fear you brought in out of your body.
The next shadow emotion we will acknowledge and express through dance form will be anger. Now, I don't always locate anger in my body. It doesn't really fit with my concept of myself. I think myself as being a, a peaceable man, discounting passive aggression and cynicism and the fact that words can be as violent as blows. But who we are is wider than our identities. It's as wide as our humanity, which does encompass anger. So again, we'll get into a pre-dance position, and I will say a set of lightly triggering words on the anger spectrum. And you'll pay attention to your body that's the invitation, and see how you react to them. See if they start giving a somatic reaction in your hands, in your stomach, in your heart. The word and cued episode that has the strongest emotional reaction is what you need to work with today. It's what we'll dance with. Irritation, rudeness, disrespect, unfairness, microaggression, outrage, conflict, competition, See how you react. Argument. Anything come up? Fight. Are you getting reaction? Anger. Return to the word and associated episode which brought out the most for you. Was it microaggression? Was it rudeness? Was someone rude to you recently? Return into your mind to that episode in which you restrained your anger and begin to let it out. Instead of telling anger that it was wrong, tell anger that it was right. We're going to give it full expression. Listen to the dance track, it'll help you to go deeper. Stop me in my sleep. <laughs> 
Don't be afraid to show each other your anger. We all have it. Don't be afraid to show it to the altar. It is a prayer. So gradually to a place of stillness. That anger will still, the last of it will still be in your body. It's where on three, we're going to give a shout, our battle cry, our fiercest angry cry, and we're going to get the last of this anger out of our bodies. One, two, three. telling you that I was right to honor and express your feelings in this safe place.
In asking your embodied self how you felt when you came in, you may have noticed some heaviness that associated with, with sadness, with, with mourning. Maybe as you lightly meditate between dances, you can feel it now. Sadness is often the emotion that underlies a state of anger or fear. Now that we've stripped the layers, we're ready to dance and express our sadness and dance. I again will help you to locate your sadness in your body by reciting a list of lightly triggering words. Again, see how each hits you. What images or episodes come up. We're looking for the strongest somatic reaction. That's how you know that that episode, that feeling is the priority today. Unhappiness, disconnection, isolation, depression, what comes up? Depression. Endings. Termination. Things that have been taken away from you. Breakups. Does anything come up there? Grief. Do you feel any sadness? Mourning, regrets, sadness. Now go back to the word and episode that had the strongest reaction. In your mind, go back to that moment. It may help to close your eyes to do that. Go back to that moment that you felt sadness and still feel Sadness. This time here in this dance church, we're going to say that sadness was right and correct, even though you didn't show it then. This is your opportunity to show it now and transform that sadness like artists into dance beauty. in my hands you can start with what you wanted to do in that moment you wanted to cry what a hide your face what a fall on the ground <laughs> I pray I pray I pray right again right again right again right again
tell sadness that it's wrong. Tell that sadness that it's right. Let it come out from where it's hidden in your body. Let it come out of your lungs, out of your heart, out of your bones, out of your face. gently draw yourself back from that moment back into the room <sighs> come to a place of stillness you still have sadness in your body we're again going to drain out the residual. Get out the residual by on the count of three giving a mournful wail that expresses without shame all the sadness and mourning you still have in your body. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Enjoy as you reward the feeling. That is what comes of honoring your emotions. Dance church, we don't have to pretend we're not sad. We welcome it. 